How's it going? Shane Reynolds here. Welcome to another 30A deep dive. This week, we're diving deep into these weird little finger lakes that I didn't even know existed here on 30A, despite the fact that I, I grew up right down the road. The best part about that is we're doing something that I grew up doing. Let's do some boarding. After more than 20 years of shooting, producing, and hosting adventure travel shows for various networks, it's time for a deeper look into all the epic things I can find in and around my own backyard. I'm Shane Reynolds, and we're going on a 30A deep dive. You wanna do it? Hey kids. Hey, what's happening? Everybody here to watch me face plant. How are you doing? Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Corey and Caitlin. Caitlin. Yeah. Yes. And you're Adam. 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 And there's two. <laughs> Round number two, dude. Well, we're all here. So what what is this place? I, this I, place I, is a, a water ski school, but we wakeboard, we do everything from beginner to advanced to super pro we hold tournaments how did you keep this such a good secret I, I don't know the reason i have this is i used to train for water skiing on public waterways on fourth of july so i don't know if you ever been out on a boat on a public lake fourth of july it's like crazy yeah, yeah but it's not, so not i'm like i be. need my private lake so people leave me alone Hey, if everyone only just had their own private lake, that'd be, that'd be the best. <laughs> that'd be perfect. <laughs> Which boat are we getting on? We're going to go on the red boat over here. This oh, is a ski nautique. Yep. That's a beautiful machine. We grew up wakeboarding. And, nice. Uh, but it was, you know, during that time where, you know, we just surfed behind the boat with our surfboards or we had the yellow banana thing with the star fin that they called yeah. the scurfer. Scurfer, yep. At some point, I want to say 10, 10 to 20 years ago, I, I, I moved away from wakeboarding because my back didn't care for it too much. So I'm hoping I still have something left. Right. I think you do. You look like you do. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> Let's get it going. Um, grab your board. All right. we, we got vests over there, all different sizes. Grab something that will fit, and we'll go from there. So Corey's your dad. Yes. All yes. Right. So he's so he's old school. You you the new school. He's old school. I'm the new school. We like, we like to think that I grew up here in between the lakes. So you a skier or are you a wakeboarder? I am a skier. All my focus pretty much went to water skiing. Um, the three disciplines: trick, slalom, and jump. Um, and kind of spend most of my time doing that now. Okay. Full time. So, well, yeah, that, that's what you guys offer is wakeboarding and skiing, right? Correct. So I'll, I'll try wakeboarding. You, you'd show us what the skiing's all about. That sounds like a plan. Do you want to go from the floater here or we can idle out and you can start I, in the lake? I don't mind doing a little dock start since we're already here. I haven't, I never well, had the, I, I've never been able to do a floating dock start. Perfect. All right. So yeah, you're just going to sit down. Might be the easiest or however you want to get those on. We'll tighten those up beside you. Okay. All right, these things still weigh 20 pounds. They're a lot lighter and better than they used to be. If I can pull off a 360, then I'll be happy. All right, looking good. Toss that to you. I'm excited. All right, let's get to a dock start. Let's do it. There we go. Old middle-aged legs don't fail me now. There you go. Good carving. Look at that spray. Yeah. Whoa, bump. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. There we go. Hey, it's all right. No, look good. Load, load a little more progressive. You're doing all of the work, really nice position, but then just a little too early, you're letting up and trying to jump, and so you're losing all your momentum across and just going up. So just stay on that edge a little bit longer and do a little more of like a diagonal, think you're going to like the tops of the trees, okay. and that'll fix that. All right, here we go. Go, going for it. There we go. Nice job. Okay, it's starting to come back to me now. Taking a little speed in the turn. Call that a whippy. 
we'll go heel side, toe side. Let's see if we can get a wake to wake. Nice. Okay, here goes nothing. There you go. Still got it. <laughs> it's a workout, isn't it? So much fun, though. Super fun. And I'm super dying. <laughs> wow. Let's see you top that. All right, Adam, let's see what you're made of, bro. This is a trick ski. This is one of the three disciplines of water skiing. Um, your traditional is tricks, foam, and jump. And this is actually what I kind of specialized in. I do some of the other disciplines as well. Oh, solid start. Confident. Look at him go, a little side slip. Doing the side slip boogie. I don't know any of the names or terms of any of these, these so I'm just gonna have to make them up as we go. Nice little off the lip, ollie pop. Oh, little reverse Patrice Lamuba right there. That's what we call the wiggle worm. Jumping and bouncing and having, whoa, there goes the freaking backflip, bro. Come on, my God, that's making my back hurt Watch, watching that. All right, simmer down, Adam. Just simmer down a little bit. All right, Adam for the win. Oh, no hander. Sick. Uh, looks like he's done this a couple times. Fortunate enough, I was back-to-back -back world champion in 2015, 2017, in uh, Mexico 2015, Paris 2017, and uh, followed in my dad's footsteps because he was back-to-back -back world champion as well in this, uh, this discipline. So. Mental note, when someone refers to a sport as a discipline, it's safe to assume that they will crush you in it. Oh my God. Sick. Sick. That was That's unreal, sick. man. All right. That's his new best friend. And as they say, if you can't beat him, <laughs> join him. Talk about it? <laughs> I, I think let's just throw me into the, the lion's den and we'll see what happens. Love it. So you're gonna show me how to do this? I've never done a, a trick ski. Trick skiing. I love it. So um, it's one of my favorites. Obviously. It's going to be uh, surprisingly slippery, so just be prepared. <laughs> so we're going to get these binds and everything. What you're going to think is like if you've done a cannonball into a pool or a lake or anything, you're kind of starting in that smallest position you can possibly get in. You want knees into the chest, arms straight. So this is kind of your starting position. As you get up, you want to stay in this cannonball and just kind of let the ski plane and you stand right on top of it so you're actually going to almost be skiing like this and from here we stand up really slow motion okay all right as we get up we just kind of try to keep everything going straight hips shoulders chin everything going a direction we don't want to be right all disconnected okay simple as that sounds so easy let's do it <laughs> the old trick to getting the tight ski boots on uh, you gotta open it first Yep, yep. Get some slick feet. And yes. <laughs> Slip off the dock. Slide on in there. Oh, that feels so good. All right, I'm in. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, ready? Let's have some fun. Let's do it. <laughs> When it comes to water sports, getting pulled behind a boat is a pastime in this area. And when the technology wasn't there, the creativity was. Now that those two elements are finally catching up with each other, we're seeing things we've never seen before. But most importantly, we're having more fun than ever. At this age, I'll just have to pay a bigger price for it. But I guess a day like this is worth its weight in gold. And so is ibuprofen. I'm Shane Reynolds and that's a 30 AD dive.